Hello everybody, here we are again with another Dokkan Battle video. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Veku unit. So he just came out to JB Dokkan a few days ago. And he's solid, I'd say. He's not anything really too spectacular. But I would want to go ahead and do a video on him. Because I feel like he does have a little bit of use. And could potentially be a little useful in the Super Battle Road stage. Let's just go ahead and take a look at his details right here. So his he leads a Fusion Category 3 key 50% stats. Obviously, no one cares about free-to-play leader skills. Um, he has a high chance of massively raising attack for one turn, and he causes supreme damage to the enemy. So the high chance is basically 50% chance to raise his attack by 100% for the turn. I mean, it makes sense with how he was just moving around with Janemba. I don't really like it, though. I feel like they could have at least made it like a great chance. Why not, you know? Um, he's a free-to-play unit. Cut him some slack, I'd say. <laughs> he has attack 150% and defense 50% from the start of turn. He gets minus 10% attack with each turn that passes, up to minus 50%. He has a medium chance of performing a critical hit when performing a super attack, which would be actually a 25% chance to perform a critical hit. Defense and chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, plus 10% with each attack received, up to 50% in total. So overall, once you're able to build his passive fully up, he will be able to get 125% defense total after his 5 attacks, as you see on the bottom there. And he will have a 50% chance to evade enemies attack, which will be pretty solid in a, you know, like a super battle road stage or something like that. You could possibly run him in a third slot, you know, but I mean, with how strong the fusion category, movie heroes, and, you know, I wouldn't say other road warriors, but those two first categories that do have super battle road stages, with how strong those categories are in terms of the options you could use, you're probably never going to use this guy, unless you're like a newer player. <laughs> I mean, he still could pretty decent in there i haven't really run him in there i don't think i'll take him in there but i'll think about it for sure uh, we're going to be showing him off in an infinite dragon ball history stage going over his link skills though he has saiyan warrior race tough as nails fusion failure fuse fighter open a flash uh other world warriors and shattering the limit so his link skill is decent uh he has four decent links i'd say saiyan warrior race fuse fighter over in a flash and shattering the limit the other three which would be tough as nails fusion failure and other world warriors you can't really get those that often. I'd say like if you link him with someone like Super Kyle can Goku or something just for the fun and novelty you can get, you know him. But like that's not really units you would really necessarily run. Um, but in this case we're going to be linking him with like going like for a free to play vibe. Say if you're running like a prime battle and just want to have fun. Like if you're grinding this Majin Buu unit that just came out. Um, if you're running like a free to play fusion team with this guy. You could run him and the Astar Gogeta together. They can be pretty solid. They do share those four links as stated. And again, as I stated as well, he has um, Fusion, Movie Heroes, and Other World Warriors. It's only three categories. Overall, he's a man unit. Probably not gonna, I'm probably personally not gonna really use him after this small showcase right here. His stats are decent uh, for your play stats, you know. Nothing like, oh my gosh, that's amazing, but you know. It doesn't hurt, for sure. So we're gonna be going in, of course, this Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. We're gonna be showing him off right here. These are his links right now. Um, as you see, I, <laughs> so... I wasn't trying to get freaking Fuse Fighter up to level 8, but it just happened. I was trying to get, like, at least every link level 4. But, I mean, when I got that level 8 Fusion Link, I kind of don't want to keep going and get that level 10 and just be like, oh. You know, because I feel like there's a point. I don't want to make it too unrealistic for free-to-play players since this is a free-to-play unit. And, you know, you're not really going to grind a guy like this links too often. So, starting off here, his defense is 42k. We're going to actually put him right here. And we're going to try and hope to see that we don't finish off this Yamcha so we can actually get that passive. So we're going to also have the movie hero support Gohan on the following turn. The one thing to note is that his attack will of course be lowered by 10%. But luckily that's not multiplicative since it's not an out of turn thing. It's just at the starter turn. His attack stat is 990k. Um, <laughs> no, not, not 990k. Uh, not really too good. It's not looking too good there, Beck. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, I don't think he got his massively raising attack there, though. So, not even like 1 million hitting, hitting 1 million nowadays is not impressive. So, the fact that he didn't really hit a million before his passive actually started going down, it's, it's dumb. I they should have just made him better, <laughs> honestly. You know, like look at that Gogeta right there. I mean, this Beck is probably way better defensively. Um, but that Gogeta is hitting like a higher attack stats and even though he's an easy A unit, he's still like two years old, you know? It's like, 
I don't know. They kind of with all how good they making free to play units lately. It's kind of weird to just see this Veku come out and he's kind of really dead. Like you know the Veku, um, not the Veku card, the Golden Frieza and Soray card that came out with the Angel Golden Frieza event. Um, he's pretty solid. You know, he's better than this guy. You know, the Vegeta from the um Super Saiyan Four Gogeta event. You know, when he dropped that great Ape Vegeta, he's actually pretty solid as well. The Demon God Salsa, I never did a video on him, but he's actually probably better than this guy too. So it's like, I don't know why they kind of just went weird with him. They could have made him a lot better, and I feel like they should have made him a lot better. So moving on here, his defense is actually at 61k. Um, he only needs three more attacks to build up his full passive. Uh, keep in mind that if he does evade, I don't believe that actually builds up his passive. So that's the one thing that I'm kind of like, I don't like about this unit as well. Is that when you actually are, like, say you get to a solid level, like, three attacks or so. Once you get there and you start dodging, that's going to hinder you from actually being able to get the higher chance to dodge and the higher defense. Keep in mind, this Gohan support also adds to the multiplicative uh, effect of that defense. So, I mean, realistically speaking, I think you could probably get this Veku to at least around, like, 80k defense or so. Let's see how much it takes from the super attack right here. Probably going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, 150k. Yeesh, that's not really good. But at least now, right here, his defense is mostly built up. He had a 1 million attack stat. I'm pretty sure he also didn't get the massively raising attack there. So, I'll accept it. You know, he's free to play. He's not supposed to be really that good. So, he did actually massively raise his attack there and got a 1.3 million attack stat. That's a little more acceptable. Uh, he does have that crit chance, though. Something you have to keep in mind is that um, if he is able to get that crit chance off, that's technically a 1.9 times multiplier. And it is a 25% chance to activate that. So it's not like impossible, like you're never going to see that, you know. A 25% chance to actually crit, I feel like it's like pretty decent, you know. Especially considering like, say he's AGL. So I mostly have be able to have a 30% chance to crit unless you give him equips for God, some god for a second reason. Don't give this guy equips. Oh my gosh. I don't have any equips on him personally, obviously. You know, don't give this guy equips, guys. Come on. Please don't. <laughs> um... I mean, if someone would give him a Crips there, it'd be like Suna, Major Gogeta fan, or Golden Sun for some reason. Golden, do a video with Beku when he comes out. Love a 10 links, Max Equips, please. Thank you. Anyways, continuing on from that little tangent there. Most of you guys don't even know who that guy is. Um, well, actually, that's not true. People who technically watch my videos now probably know him. <laughs> so he's at 63k defense without you know any support. His passive is fully built up as well. Um, he does have, uh, another thing to think about, his attack set is also lowering each turn, so right now this is his, I believe his third turn, so he's only at 120% attack right now, uh, so his, basically he's gonna be like 900k or so, unless he gets a massively raise. Yeah, I actually think he got the massively raise there, <laughs> because his passive is down by 30%, um, on a super attack. Let's see if he's able to dodge. No, 173k, that's, that's not good. <laughs> this guy's not good, <laughs> for sure. I mean, we're going to see, I want to see one more turn with him with support on a rotation. But, like, he's not really looking that great, <laughs> to be really honest. I, w I might, you probably don't even want to run him in Super Battle Road either. <laughs> like, I'm thinking, like, you know, I was thinking initially, like, you know, he has a high chance to dodge. Maybe he'll be decent there. But now that I'm seeing these numbers and, you know, thinking about it more, he's a free-to-play unit. So if you take a look at his stats here, uh, he only has 6.7k defense, which is incredibly low. <laughs> very, very low. His attack size also only 11k, which I've seen, there's, there's worse for sure, but defensive-wise, that's they're really, really bad. <laughs> that's really, really bad. Um, you definitely could get a lot better. I feel like his stats... You know, he's free to play, so obviously he's going to have low stats, but I just hate how free to play units, you know, they should at least have the 5,000 unit you know, or their stats. I feel like at least, you know, looking at it, it would look better. We're going to use another healing item here. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to see if I could actually dodge this turn, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Um, hopefully we'll be able to actually get over a million attacks at this time if he gets his massively raised, but I doubt it. So we're going to see him one more time with his uh, passive actually fully down um, to 100%. Yeah, see, this is terrible. I, I feel like really they, they didn't have to make his attack lower every single turn. Or if they did, they, they should have just... 
Honestly, just make them stack massively with raise attack, you know? <laughs> just make them stack it. Who cares, you know? Even if it's just still a high chance, make them stack it. Don't make it locked in one turn. Because losing your attack like that is really detrimental. Like, one of the big things about free-to-play units is that they don't even do damage in the first place. So it's like, if you just nerf yourself even more, you're just making yourself a very big liability. And, you know, uh, you could say, oh, this guy has a 50% chance to evade, but, you know... He's gonna freaking die, basically, be getting hit by those times because he has it built up. What I think they should have done is they should just give him 50% chance to evade straight up, and then for every time he evades, he gets that defense up. Um, similar to how you know Ultra Instinct Goku the LR works, because like it's just you know I maybe like maybe I'm hating on him a little too much, but look at Golden Freeze and Silver they have a guaranteed stun, you know. Like, a guaranteed stun is pretty huge. They're pretty good in extreme tech super battle road as well. And then look at that. Well, that Vegeta's cookie cutter, but he's hitting pretty solid attack stats. He has pretty decent links, too. This guy is kind of like, they just shot all over him and made him really a huge meme. And it's kind of really disappointing because if you look at the actual SR Veku, you know, he has like a chance for 50% defense. So he could have been a really nice, you know, free to play unit, you know, um, that's very good defensively. Think of like that new Whis, the AJO Whis that came out. With the extermination event, he got his TUR finally. He's a very good defensive unit. He gets additional attacks, and he may not be hitting the hardest, but you know, he has a full heal. He can get that 70% chance to dodge with that full heal. He stack basically like stacks his defense on top of itself. It's re he's really good, but you know, this guy's kind of underwhelming. Like 80k defense after his full passive is built up and with 40% support, like even for a free to play unit, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I still would recommend farming this guy up because you never know what the crazy thing they might do with this guy in the future. But he's, he's shit. <laughs> You're not really going to have fun with him. 953k with 40% support. That's basically all you need to see. Um, Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll take him to Super Battle for a meme. Like, look at this guy. Come on. Like, I, and I get he's a fusion failure. But like, he could have made him better. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, thank you guys so much for watching until the end if you did decide to watch all the way until the end um, Maybe I'm being too hard on him. Let me know if you think I'm being too hard on him in the comments like he's free to play blah 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 But with all these good free to play units coming out recently, it's like This guy could have definitely been way better like I don't know. It's weird well, Thank you guys again for your time and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one